spontaneous podcast I've ever done. I came outside um, to shoot, try to shoot some video and pictures of the forest, and um, and I ended up coming in here instead in, in the dye studio, um, and then I just got this weird like urge to just talk to you guys for a minute. So I wanted to talk to you mainly about a new pattern that I released uh, called the Bubbling Book Shawl. Uh, I made this two weeks ago, I think I crocheted it, and it only took me a few days, and it just came to me really quickly, and I thought it um, turned out really beautiful. It's a triangular shawl, uh, lacy-ish. Lacy-ish <laughs> with bubbles, and I used my hand-dyed yarn. So I used um, Brazil wood for this rose color, and black walnut for the brown. And it's um, so far one of my favorite patterns. And I just released it yesterday on both Ravelry and my website. to get uh, good photos done of, of the bubbling brook shawl because Joe has been in and out of the hospital um, with some acute issues and uh, I had to drive him there, I think it was two weeks ago, pouring rain. He was in extreme pain and the VA hospital where he goes what is about an hour plus away. So I was trying to drive really, really fast, and I don't do <laughs> I don't do well with a lot of stress. So needless to say, I tried to go faster than I should have, and every time I would do that, I would, the car would hydroplane. So I had to say at one point, I'm I cannot go any faster. Like I'm going to get us both killed if I try. So it took longer. <laughs> there was a detour as well. It took longer than it should have and the poor guy was just dying in pain. So anyway, long story short, he's back home again and healing and doing better every day. And But he hasn't been able to take photos of my shawl, obviously, so I thought I would go out in the woods today and try to get some using like the, I was going to try to use my real camera and then just do the self timer trying to figure that out for a while now and uh, I'm not sure it's going to work. It's, it's just not easy. I, it's a long story but I really don't have the right camera equipment in a nutshell and my goal for next year is to try to get much better camera equipment and, and um, try to do, just try to do a better job. So yeah, I have nothing to show you on this podcast except for this. Oh, and then what I'm wearing, um, I was using the new Teeting yarn from Sweden that I love so much. And, oh, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a nice big hood for going outside when it's snowing. This is just a set of sleeves. And there's kind of a cool, it's tough to show you, but there's a cool pattern. long and lovely and I just think it's really fun. Um, the back does have a design, a uh, lacy design, but again it's hard to show you. But it is just intended to be sleeves. There's no front whatsoever. See? No front. Um, and I will, I will try to get some real pictures to do it justice and the shawl. Um, if you're on my mailing list, also I emailed a coupon code worth 
20% off the pattern. So let me know if you want to be added to that email list or you can just go to my website and you'll see a spot where you can sign up for it and save some money on the pattern if you're interested. So what else? Um, Rhinebeck was amazing. So Joe and I made the decision to go just two or three days before Rhinebeck. Um, I was meeting up with um, a lovely woman who sewed all of my advent calendars and my buntings. So I had to go meet her anyway, and she was going to be there, so it was a good opportunity to, to go. So I got to meet and hug Angela and Lee. Angela brought me a gift, the most generous gift. She brought me a, um, what did she say? It was half of an advent calendar. I think she said it's like 12 days. So I think that's what she said. It's all in a box and I will not be opening it until um, December, but I'm so, so touched by that. And we just got along so well and it was so natural. And her friend Melissa from Honey Bee Knits was there and Melissa's friend Levi was there. Um, oops, my battery's dying. See, I totally did not plan this podcast. So it was just the best day. And then I got to see my dear friend Jesse, who I haven't seen. My goodness, we worked together teaching years ago, and I hadn't seen her the whole time. Um, but that was so, so awesome, too. And I got to meet her daughter. Joe got me my Christmas present early. He surprised me by buying me a woolly winder. For those of you who spin, you might know what that is, but um, it's it makes it so much easier, but it was definitely more than I deserved. Um, yeah, he spoiled me the entire day, and we just had the best time. We went there and went home the same day, which was a long, long day, but... So much fun. I'm really, really glad I went. It wasn't as crowded as I thought it would be, although it was crowded. I didn't feel overwhelmed at all. I felt like I had plenty of space to get away when I needed to. What else is new? So much, but I don't really have notes. And normally I have notes. Um, I just am winging it. I hope you guys don't mind. Sometimes I think it's good to be spontaneous. Um, we have snow on the ground. Yep, we got our first snow three days ago, two or three days ago, and it's sticking around because it's cold. Um, yeah, my fingers are freezing right now and my nose is running because it's cold. But, um, I've been extremely swamped with work. I mean, like, with the ad getting the advent ready, which, by the way, they're going on on Tuesday. So they're a little late because of Joe being hospitalized and all of that. So they were a little late. I wanted to have them out at the beginning of November and now they're obviously not going out until almost the middle, but still, they'll be there in time. And I've also been really busy um, working on another business model. And I thought that I would take all of the years and all of the research and just all of my experience on having and building a website and being on social media and building following there, all of the knowledge that I've acquired over these years, I really thought would be helpful um, to pass on to other people. So this, this is specifically geared toward introverts and anyone with HSP. Um, and if you're not sure what that is, I can explain that in another episode. Um, but I am an HSP and I am an introvert and that can be really difficult sometimes to put yourself out there. But I have um, figured out a way and I just wanted to share that with everyone. So what I've done was I've written a course, an e-course, and so far it has 10 lessons in it on 
being an introvert and starting your own online crafty business. So the name of it is Craft a Living. Some of you may have seen this. Um, I have 25 lovely ladies already signed up for the beta course because I want to test it out first. Um, it's the best way to see if there are any areas that I need to improve on or any questions that I haven't answered or any steps that are not clear, uh, any typos, things like that. One of the uh, women, or one or two of them are actually um, editors, or no, that's not the word, proofreaders. So that's really handy. And so the first lesson went out yesterday, and then each week I will release another lesson. Hopefully we can finish up all 10 by the end of this year, and then I can release the actual e-course as a whole to the public. Um, I haven't decided on how much I will charge yet for it. All of that will come um, throughout the rest of this year. I will finalize everything, but so far I've had a really good reception to this idea, and I've started an Instagram account called Craft a Living where I already have almost like 100 women there, and the, the conversations are lively and there's engagement. And it's wonderful. And if you fit into that description at all, please join us there. It's it's so much fun. I'm loving this. It's very different than what I've done with my crafty endeavors, but I am a teacher. That's, that's what I went to college to be. So that is something I, I'm good at. I feel very strongly about and passionate about. So I think it's time to try to help other women that are just like me. So yeah, that's been great. But, but really, really keeping me busy. I've been sitting at the computer for eight to 10 hours a day sometimes. But um, it felt really good to get that first lesson out there yesterday and to get the good feedback that I'm getting so far. Um, other news is, let's see, headed down obviously to Connecticut for Thanksgiving and then we'll have a Thanksgiving up here as well. It's so we'll two every year, which I love. Um, been really busy. I was dyeing yarn all day yesterday. I've had some custom orders, putting together some kits um, for the Bubbling Brook Shawl um, and also for our Sugar on Snow Shawl as well. So look for those in the shop soon. And um, yeah, I think that's about it. I'm going to keep this really short and then hopefully I can do a more structured, planned out podcast for you in the near future. So I hope that you have been having a really good November and maybe you have snow where you live. Some of you still have like really hot temperatures and I just hope that you are content and you have some knitting out and that you're enjoying um, these last days before things get really busy for the holiday season. All right, everyone, I'll talk to you